on the UEC, meaning the Unified Examination Certificate and the CLP, Certificate of Legal Practice. Uh, so if you are not interested to cover the issue on Dong Zhou and also the UEC, you no need to cover this uh, press conference. Yeah, just to let you know. Uh, I guess I think this is more on uh, Chinese community. Maybe certain community won't be interested. So just a caveat for all of you. Okay, no problem. No problem that I will just um, to, to, to explain this issue to you. Okay. Um, UEC, uh, UEC meaning Unified Exam Certificate, uh, Unified UEC, yes. Um, basically, if you go to Chinese independent school, um, you study six years, we call it uh, junior, middle, one, two, three, three years, and then senior, middle, one, two, three, middle, one, two, three, so another three years. So after you get your UEC cert, um, all this while, you can actually go to any of the private college to enroll with the law programs. Meaning you can do transfer program, and maybe it's one plus two or two plus one uh, with UK University, or you can do, sometimes you can do three plus zero, that would be London Uni uh, University of London external program. All this while, no problem. The only requirement for you to enroll with the uh, law programs with all these private university and colleges is, of course, your result must be good enough, your EC, your EC result must be good enough for example you need to have like um, 6b and also you need to have credit in SP uh, B, uh, in credit in uh, credit in Bahasa in English in your SPM so that is the two requirement basically but however this year I start receiving calls from the parents and also for the students because suddenly the private university and colleges that offer law programs they suddenly say that they receive notification from the CLP board or sorry from the legal qualified legal qualifying board saying that from this year onwards from, uh, from the coming years onwards UEC is no longer uh, equipped equivalent to STPM or A level. Meaning, if you only have UEC, you are not good enough to sit in CLP. Okay, what is CLP? CLP is Certificate in Legal Practice. Basically, if you study any um, external or any law school other than UM or the government university, you need to take you, you need to take CLP after you come back from uh, UK or come back from other country or after you complete your external program. So this after you get your uh, CLP, only then you can be called to the bar and become practice as a lawyer. But uh, suddenly, uh, the legal qualifying board notifying all the private institutions in Malaysia that offer law programs and says that UEC is no longer recognized, is no longer equivalent to the STPM or the A level. Meaning that UEC student that, that the, that the students that see UEC exam this year, they cannot go to enroll in the law programs with this private institution simply because they don't have STPM and A level. Okay. I don't know why I got this sudden change, but I go when I go to dig more information, I realize that the document I showed to you, the first page, basically I get it from the legal qualifying board. Okay, you can see that the paragraph that I highlighted here. Okay, the legal qual profession qualifying board uh, is in in its meeting held on 23rd September 2005 had decided that UEC is to be no longer recognized as a qualification equivalent to SPM and STPM respectively for purpose of application as candidate to see in the certificate in legal practice examination. An applicant who has a UEC is also required to possess a minimum of two principal passes at STPM or A level. Even though on the website it says that this is a decision made in the year 2005, but all this year no problem, only until very recently. Because I got many friends who actually is uh, got admission to the bar by sitting in CLP with their UEC result, and UEC plus U, uh, SPM. They don't have STPM, they don't have A-level, but that is not a problem. This is even though it's stated in the website, the legal, quali um, the legal profession qualifying board say that they made the decision in the year 2005, but I'm quite sure that it was never implemented 
until very, very recently. The second document that I want to highlight to you is what I printed from the Taylor University uh, website. Okay, this is printed from the uni from the from the from the Taylor University's website. It's about the enrollment, the uh, entry requirement for their law programs. You can see that UEC Unified Examination Certificate passed with five Bs, including English with maximum of 20 points and process a minimum of two principal passes at STPM or A level. This is on Taylor's University website. But I would like to refer to you to the third document that I gave you. This is actually also from Taylor's University website, but this is from their PDF file, from their voucher, meaning uh, which I believe is actually pre uh, pre uh, previously prepared, uh, prepared, and therefore they have no, they don't have the time to change it yet. And you can see it here that the education pathway for their law school is actually SPM. You need to have it. Like what I told you just now, you need to have uh, Bahasa English. You need to have credit in SPM. And then A level, uh, SAM, SACE, UEC, or STPM is all. Meaning that previously, all this while, UEC is actually equivalent to STPM and A level. But suddenly on their website, it actually changed already. And Taylor, I just use Taylor as an example. But it is not the only institution. I call Helps uh, University this morning, and their uh, admission officer or their advisor told me the same thing. They said they get the instruction from the uh, legal profession qualifying board, and they are still in the process of negotiate with the legal qualifying board for not to implement this requirement. So to me, this is very, very worrying because I am a lawyer by profession as well, and I am a UEC holder. I sit, I took CLP as well. So suddenly, all this year, no problem, but for the coming year, it seems that UEC is no longer good enough, is no longer equivalent to STPM at A-level, and we need to know why. We need to know why that is suddenly they need to implement this requirement. And I would think this arrangement or this, uh, or this rule, this new policy, will be very, very unfair to the UEC student this year. Because you see, after UEC, I already get that UEC. If you ask me to go to do and uh, take CLP, oh, sorry, not CLP, go to take A level or STPM, that will be extra two years. You know? That will be extra two years. So is it fair to the UEC student? Because if a UEC student or the student for the Chinese independent school, they are interested to take STPM or A-level, they will usually leave school at senior middle 2 or equivalent to our Form 5. They will leave school at Form 5 or the senior, we don't call it Form 5, lah. we call it senior middle 2, but just for your information, it's equivalent to Form 5 in our government school. So they will usually leave school at Form 5 so that they can go to study either A-level or STPM. But now, suddenly the UEC grabs, okay, even though they have the UEC cert, they are being told that they cannot enroll to the law programs. And they, they still can actually, according to the health university advisor, but they need to take UK bar instead of CLP. But UK bar is so expensive. It would cost you at least 100, 120k. I didn't take UK bar because I can't afford. I could not afford. So is this fair to the student? I would definitely say it is not. So I think this is an issue that needs urgent attention from the um, higher education minister and also all the stakeholders because I think this rule, first of all, I do not see, I do not agree um, with the legal profession qualifying board that UEC is not equivalent to STPM or A level because all this why is not a problem. Okay, uh, and secondly, I strongly disagree with them on the decision that they suddenly want to implement it this year because this will be hugely unfair to the UEC student who get who sit the UEC this year because this would basically jeopardize their future and means that they will need to either pay 120k to do UK bar after they get their law degree or they need to spend another two years to get A level or to get STPM. Okay, I hope this is clear enough for you. Any questions for you before I do a Mandarin version? Ada soalan tak?
Yes. So, want to ask, uh, uh, the yes. legal profession qualifying board, this body is under which? Uh, higher education. Higher education ministry, uh, it's not under bar council? No. It's not. It's not. So basically, it's a, high, it's a higher, mini, higher education ministry to determine <coughs> the L, Q, LPQB, right? LPQT? Uh, uh, legal profession qualifying board. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Because I think it's under uh, higher medication uh, because we have the MQA as well. Okay. okay. So I think this is actually one of the uh, statutory body or, or they are they are basically it's under one umbrella. Okay. Any other questions? You want to practice as a lawyer, you need to in Malaysia you basically need to be called to the UK bar, okay, or you need to have CLP. Either one, or unless you are from graduate from the from the national or the government university la. Like for example, if your law degree is for UM, then CLP is not required. Uh, but of course, for the UEC student, how many you will be able to be admitted to the to the UM? Uh, if they got, uh, if they are being admitted to UM, is because of the STPM result. It is not because of the UEC. Okay. Any other questions for you? Before I maybe I explain it again in Mandarin. No? Oh, okay. Thank you very much. You want to take your... Thank you.